Hello people, this is Self Touch and we are continuing our series on AWS Lambda. In this video, we will learn about AWS Lambda web console, how to handle the AWS Lambda functions like how to create a Lambda function, how to update a Lambda function through Amazon web console. So to access the web console, you have to go to the Amazon web services website. So we have searched for AWS and then we are at Amazon web web services website which has a link aws.amazon.com now to access your web console you have to sign in with amazon web services so basically there is a free tier for one year which you can sign and you will be charged nothing for that if you don't cross your limits for usage so you have to read the documentation of each and every services that what is my free tier limit and how much i can use before getting charged so since i have already created an account in aws web service i'll just go to my console so i've already signed in before so it directly takes me to my web console inside my web console i see a services tab if i click on it i'll see the list of all the web services which aws provides so inside my compute section which we have already discussed there is a lambda service and we want to interact with it so you can search for your service which you want to interact and you can click on it to go to that particular web console so we are interested in Lambda, so we'll click Lambda service and this is the web console for Lambda. On the left side, you see two tabs that is dashboard and functions and on the right side, you use the different descriptions and different uh, data related to it. So in the function tab, you can see the different function that has already been created. So at present, we are having a single Lambda function that is ST create task Lambda and some description about it like there is a blank description currently and the runtime environment which this function is using is node.js 6.10 and the size of the code is 585 bytes and it was modified four days ago so all your already created lambda function will be listed here and you can edit it from here so currently we'll see how to create a new lambda function so to create a new lambda function we'll click on this button and this will take us to the new page and here you can see the different process through which we will get to create a new lambda function so first we have to select a blueprint so what is a blueprint uh, basically blueprints are templates for already created lambda functions so suppose you want to write a python related lambda function so you can search it using python and there are different template you can search you can select one of them as a base template and you can modify the code so we are interested in a blank function so we will select this blank function as our blueprint so we have selected it now aws lambda web console will ask for triggers so what is a trigger we have already uh, learned that a lambda function can be invoked in many ways like the first way through which it can be invoked is aws cli using command line tool the second one is API Gateway, which is one of the service that is we hit a request on uh, API Gateway and it will invoke my Lambda function. So any event can invoke a Lambda function. By event, I can mean that if uh, uh, if a AWS service is able to create an event, then which it can connect to the Lambda function, then it can invoke it. Uh, in, invoke that Lambda function. Like suppose we want to see what are the different triggers present currently so we'll select this and you can see here that from an api gateway aws iot cloudfront dynamodb s3 suppose we want to invoke this lambda function when there is a image upload in s3 so we can select that but currently we are not interested in any trigger we want to learn the basics of lambda function so we will not configure any uh, these triggers so we are keeping it blank and we'll go to next the next thing is the configuration section of our lambda function so we have to provide a name for this lambda function and we'll just say this is a hello world lambda function so we have given the name of our lambda function and we'll give some description this is the hello world function then we have to select the runtime environment so node.js provide us different runtime environment like python 3.6 python 2.7 java 8 but we are doing our course for this series in node.js so we'll select the node.js 6.10 which is the 
latest one now there is a code editor which aws lambda web console provide and you can edit your code here like if you want to enter something here then you can just uh, use your keyboard to enter the code here so this is the lambda function code that will or run when you invoke this lambda function so while creating the lambda function you can edit the code here then there are some configuration uh, related to lambda function for roles like what roles does this lambda function have means through which other services it can it can interact and there is a, a mandatory thing that you have to provide a role for the lambda function so you can use choose an existing role or you can use create a custom role so suppose we are interested in creating a custom role so it says create a custom role and it will take me to a new tab for identity and access management because all the roles related services and all the permission related services are done inside identity and access management service of aws lambda so you can create a new policy uh, through this if it doesn't exist but we have already created this lambda basic execution so we'll see what are the policies attached to it so you can see the permissions of the policies that this role has is to create a new log group create uh, create log stream and put log event means if i'm assigning this role to my lambda function then this can interact with my uh, logs related resource and it can perform these actions so since we have already created it if you have not created it then you have to choose allow or you need to create a uh, lambda basic execution role and then you have to attach this uh, attach that to the uh, lambda function so we are using choose an existing role and we'll select the existing role as lambda basic execution role now what this handler function means uh, handler function is something which we'll discuss in the next video so i am leaving it for now so you have to put it here index dot handler for current now there are some advanced setting that uh, how much memory uh, your lambda function will need to run what is the timeout means if uh, the response doesn't come in this much second then there will be a timeout basically this is an important factor because you are charged according to that means how much time your lambda function runs uh, depends how much you are charged means if it runs for a longer period then you will be charged more and if it is run for a lesser period then it will be uh, then you will be charged less so there are some other settings also which we are not interested in currently so we'll just uh, see that everything is fine and then we'll go to the next so this gives the final confirmation to us that the name of your function is hello world with this description and the runtime is this the handler function is here and the role that you have provided is lambda basic execution so we'll just create the function so you will see now we'll again go to the function and you can see here that my hello world function is present and the description and the runtime and the code size and last modified time is also there so now we want to edit this function or we want to see the configuration or the properties of this function so we'll click here and we can see this is the web console for a particular lambda function so here we have different tabs the first one is the code tab where you can write your code so suppose we are writing console.log hello world i am learning lambda so since we are using uh, node.js so in node.js we can log different thing using simple console log statement if you have learned node.js then you uh, you you must be knowing that using simple console.log you can log a text or something some object kind of thing so we have just used console.log to lo do some logging now there is a configuration section we have already done some configuration but if you want to edit those configuration you can go in this configuration section and change your settings here so advanced settings are also there so you can change the advanced setting so once you have created a lambda function you can update uh, by going inside the web console and selecting that particular lambda function then you can again configure your triggers like if you want to add a new trigger you can go here and add a trigger you can see what are the tags that are present for my lambda function for filtering etc and there's a monitoring tab 
in this monitoring tab you can see how much time uh, how much number of time your lambda function was involved what is the duration uh, is there any error so this is basically some report kind of thing for a particular lambda function so we are inside our hello world lambda function so the monitoring of that lambda function is done by aws itself and you can go here and take some reports and you can do your work you can also see the logs in this view logs in cloud watch by clicking here means what are the logs that this lambda function is printing so uh, we have uh, seen that this is our code that we have uh, that we got from our blueprint and now we'll try to save and test it so we can we can also run the lambda function from the web console itself so we'll use this save and test so it will ask me that what are my input events so we'll learn about it later on but for now put it as default and just press save and test so it says the hello from lambda which is the output that is called back we will learn everything from here that what is called back is here what is it exports or exports dot handler is there what is event context and call back we will learn in a future video but for now we are just seeing aws lambda web console so this is a callback function which gives us the value hello world from lambda uh, uh, hello from lambda which is printed here and we have uh, printed a log here which you can see log output that is hello i am learning lambda so this is the and you can also see that the duration it ran is 13.52 uh, uh, milliseconds and you will be charged for that only so this is the basics of aws lambda web console uh, which we need to understand but working with a web console is very difficult so suppose you are having at present we are having a single function so it is easy means to update the uh, code to do the configuration changes it is easy when you are handling one function or when you are in your learning stage but later on we'll see that how to do all these things using aws cli means uh, uh, aws command line tool can do everything uh, which this web console provide by writing some codes so you can create a new functions now you can test it you can write your code here you can run it and you can enjoy using aws lambda so this was and one more important thing this is the arn that is a, a resource for this particular lambda function arn means uh, amazon resource name and this is the name of this resource means if you you uh, every resource in amazon there uh, has a unique name and this is the resource for this hello world lambda function which is inside my account and which is in us west to region so this is also important thing because when you will configure uh, api gateway when you will uh, configure s3 buckets uh, then you will need this arn for this lambda function so this was all about the amazon web console for lambda function hope you like my video please subscribe to my channel and please give a 